number one in Central California. This is ABC 30 Action News at 6. This week's flooding in Yosemite Valley was the result of warm temperatures, rain, and a heavy snowpack. Researchers at California's newest university are using new technology to try to predict such flooding before it happens. North Valley Bureau Chief Katie Hammer explains what the research could tell us about our water supply. Researchers at UC Merced are working to figure out how much snow is in the mountains at any given location. They are using technology that's more accurate than what's currently available to those who predict the weather. UC Merced professor Roger Bales hopes his research using wireless sensors will one day allow meteorologists to predict floods like the one Monday in Yosemite Valley. We measure the snowpack. We measure the energy balance because sunlight, uh, you know, energy from the sun melts the snow, energy from warm rain melts the snow. NASA has donated 10 wireless pods to Bales and his students. The small high-tech devices are set a couple hundred feet apart above the snowpack. They send a signal to the ground to measure the depth of the snow. We deploy 10 of these or 20 of these. They communicate with each other and then to the mother pod and then that's either recorded or sent out via radio mm -hmm. to our computer. Because the pods are cheap and many of them can be placed in the mountains to measure the snow depth, they provide more accurate information than what's currently available. Why it's this deep here and that deep somewhere else and how to measure that distribution and, and how to turn that knowledge into better forecasts their research will tell us exactly how much snow will turn into water that we can use. We need to measure how much snowpack is out there in order to estimate how much water is going to be available for uh, the various uses we have in the cities and the agriculture and so forth. Currently there are 10 pods located in the mountains, but Bales hopes over the next two years they will have more than 100 in place. In Merced, Katie Hammer, ABC 30 Action News.